hello guys this is me Kamal Rasan so from this video we'll be seeing about JavaScript so we'll start with the basics then we move on to the advanced chapters okay um, before moving on to the JavaScript let's have a small uh, discussion about the difference between JS and Java which is most confusing for the JavaScript beginners okay first coming on to the language so java is a language which is developed by sun microsystem whereas js is a scripting language which is developed by a team from netscape okay so next coming on to the execution environment java can be as a standalone application also it runs on jvm which is nothing but java virtual machine whereas javascript will run only in browsers so there are different javascript such as client side javascript and server side javascript which we see later um, so when, when execution environment this is a different then static versus dynamic type so when it means static java is a static type language which means we have to specify all the variables data types during the compile time in js it's not the case because in js we can the during runtime it will identify whether it's an integer variable or number or string or flow something else so it's a dynamic type language then constructors constructors is a topic of object oriented programming language so in java a uh, constructor is a function which is invoked during the object creation which means the memory is allocated to the objects during when constructor is being called whereas in js is totally a different thing which is it's nothing but a normal function as like other functions in js next closures the key thing in js so closures is nothing but you have a function with a private scope so closures will enable enable the thing which is nothing but it have a access to the parent scope also if the function is out of uh, closed so we will see about closures in detail in the upcoming videos in java closures is not supported but from java 8 uh, closures has been supported with the help of lambda expressions next this keyword so in this keyword in java it's this refers to the object instance of a class so whereas in javascript it's uh, the owner which is nothing but the function which is called if you call a function if you refer this this refers to that particular function then OOP moving on to OOP it's nothing but uh, JS is a scripting OOP supports whereas Java is a pure object oriented programming language so then tools with notepad is enough to run uh, develop and run any JS applications but it's quite it doesn't give us uh, automatic suggestions everything so we will go for notepad plus plus else eclipse i have given the links for to download notepad plus plus and eclipse in my description just download and make install it in your system okay this is just the basics between the js and java you can also comment me if you have any further differences this is just the basics let's have a discussion on that okay guys so in the next video we will see how to enable javascript in browsers and how to check it in uh, with the scripts okay thanks guys if you just like my video just share these are my social links thank you guys like and subscribe